Hey, what's up? I am Michelle B. This is Channel Notes, a channel dedicated to helping you to thrive on YouTube. And in this video, I want to talk about some weekly to-dos to add to your to-do list that will help you to grow and improve your YouTube channel, which coincidentally is kind of what this channel is all about. So we're going to talk about habits that aren't just going to help you to grow, which is important, but we're also going to talk about habits that are going to help you to be a more effective YouTuber and a more productive YouTuber. So the first weekly to-do that you should be doing is planning your week. I don't care if you don't plan anything else in your life, but you should be planning for your YouTube content. And at the very least, you need to be planning the time that you're going to create and you need to be deciding what you're going to create. Even if you do that on, on a weekly basis, it's better than doing it on the fly on the day. Ideally, you'll have a content schedule going in Google Calendar or in a spreadsheet or somewhere else. And then you'll have a specific time where you sit down every single week and you film your video and you'll have a specific time where you sit down and you edit and a specific time when you sit down and you upload. Especially if you're a newer YouTuber and you're maybe working on a full-time basis, which is what I was doing for like three years. It's so important to create some sort of structure. So on Saturdays I film, on Sundays I upload. It's also about showing up consistently to your audience, which is a really important part of doing YouTube. Because when you work, often you are doing stuff on the weekend or you're doing stuff in the afternoons, whatever it may be. And that time isn't always free time. So you'll have people that will be nagging you about hanging out, doing this or that. And if you have some time set aside to do the filming, do the planning, then that's when you can say, no, sorry, that's my filming time or that's my planning time. And your video schedule doesn't get interrupted as a result. The next thing that you should be doing every week is looking at old videos that might need tweaking. This is something that if you're not doing it every week, it should be something that you're at least prepared to do. Let me explain. If one of your videos goes up and you expect it to do really well, it gets a really good amount of watch time. It's up 30% according to the YouTube analytics. You're getting great engagement in the comments, a great amount of likes, but you just aren't getting the views that you want to get on that video. If you have a weak title, people aren't going to click on your video. If you have a weak thumbnail, people aren't going to click on your video. So every week you should be looking at what you uploaded last week and be thinking, okay, is this performing the way that I expected it to perform? If it isn't performing the way that you expected it to perform, is that because it's just not getting enough engagement? People aren't enjoying that much by the look of the analytics? Or is it just because people aren't clicking on it enough? If it's because people aren't clicking on it enough, how can you change the title and the thumbnail to build more anticipation and more interest in the video? The next weekly to do is to update on social media. If you're not a full-time YouTuber, it's likely that you're uploading once a week or maybe even once every two weeks. And in that in-between time is where you might lose the interest of a few of your watches. And that is why Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook exist so that you can connect with your people in the meantime. Taking Instagram photos in bulk is something that I do plan to create a whole video about. But for now, just concentrate on taking at least one or two photos every single week and uploading them in the in-between time so that you can connect with your viewers on another platform and just remind them that, hey, I still exist, I'm still here, and continue building that relationship outside of the YouTube platform. The next thing that you should be doing on a weekly basis is researching ideas and trends in your niche. This is a really big one because if you jump on a trend early and you're a small YouTuber and you do it quite well, it's going to make a huge difference for your channel, which is why it's so important to always be looking at what other people in your niche are doing that is working well. So as an example, habits of successful people was really trendy in my niche for a period of time. Like everyone was making habits of successful people videos and I took five months to get onto that trend. My habits video, it still did pretty well, but if I created at that peak, at that pinnacle, when everyone was searching for that content, it would have done much better. And the last weekly to do that you should be doing is batch creating. If you've watched my video on my goals for 2019, you'll know that this is a huge one for me in the next year and I've been implementing it and it's made such a big difference to my workflow. It's been my absolute savior as of late and I'm gonna continue to batch create all throughout 2019 is the goal. If you aren't creating your content in batches, what are you doing? Especially if you are a person who works full time or goes to school full time, this is something that you absolutely need to do. Rather than wasting your time creating one video here and one video there, do it all in bulk. Create four videos in a row so that you can be scheduled for the next four weeks. 
On the Creator Academy channel, there was someone on there that recently talked about the rule of three, and I really like that as a concept. So the rule of three is every time you sit down to plan, you're planning three videos. Every time that you sit down to film, you're filming three videos. Then you can update that number as you get better and better at batching. So you can up it to four, up it to five, when you get to that level. This obviously requires a level of attention that you may not currently have. So for example, sitting down to plan four videos in a row, it takes a lot of focus and it means that you have to be good at avoiding distractions. There's gonna be some time when you're gonna need to repair what is currently probably a fragmented attention span. You're gonna need to learn to live without your phone in the room. You're gonna need to learn to be able to resist the lure of the internet while you are writing. But over time, you're gonna get better and better at it and it'll make you a far more productive YouTuber. If you liked this video, you might like my video on how to be a more productive YouTuber. I'm gonna put that on the screen so that you can watch that after this one if you want to, or I'll have the link in the description below for you to check out as well. Subscribe to this channel for more tips on thriving on YouTube. I appreciate you so much and I will see you soon.